Good day, everybody. This is John Scarborough. Wanted to let everybody take a look at this winter grass. How good it's growing here. We uh, got some pretty good, pretty good depth there. It's gonna make some good, good winter forage um, for them. We're fixing to run the cattle in this little old pasture here, and it's all pretty thick with this here winter grass. Um, with the sun out like this, it kind of looks like a nice, beautiful spring day. We're in January here, um, and uh, mid, well, more like north central Louisiana is what I mean to say. So, <clears throat> typically I'm not a big fan of uh, bale grazing, but there are places I think it's useful. And right here, uh, I like to roll my bales out generally. Um, I don't even like using um, uh, hay rings if I don't have to. But right here, um, I'm kind of making an exception. I do think that uh, bale grazing can be uh, beneficial in some places. So like obviously here, there's nowhere here, anywhere I roll it out across here, um, this little pasture right here, it's, it's just going to run over top of good quality forage. So I don't really want to do that. So I could either wait until after they got done eating it down and then roll it out for them. Sometimes I'll do that. Or I can do this right here. This is kind of back in the trees over here. And uh, this has got a lot of, it's a lot of grown up forage in here and stuff. And you know, you're not, you're not going to cut down those trees because those trees are good uh, for their shelter and stuff. But you kind of, you kind of like to be able to control some of these vines and stuff growing up over here. So I have found by every now and then throwing a bale out strategically like this, those cattle get all around in there and it won't hurt them at all. They get in there and clean all that up, make it look nice for you and put a little bit of fertilizer in there and eat that hay down and keep from killing the good forage that's here. Plus, I have seen, that doesn't always work, but sometimes you can open up that canopy right there and get the grass, um, get the grass. So you're, you're putting grass seed down in there and you're getting the sun, getting the sunlight down on it as well. And sometimes you can actually get grass to start growing out there um, in those trees and so you get you get a little more forage that way during the summer But not a lot more necessarily at least not for this spot But the main thing is, is we're not wasting it and we're kind of cleaning out some of this the, some of these briars and stuff So anyway, just want to put this video out um, Just another little interesting way to keep from uh, to, to utilize as much hay as you can and to get the cattle to work for you instead of you doing all the work so Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe.